hi guys welcome back to my channel uh, good to have you again so I'm just going to make a quick recipe today a quick meal this is just quick 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 this is more of the lazy <laughs> lazy uh, dinner prep if you will um, I am making just a very quick meal I'm calling it lazy because everything is going into the oven Going, everything's going to be prepared at once so once you shove everything in the oven you can pretty much go about your day and food will be ready all at once okay so that's just about it um, let's jump right into today's recipe so today's recipe is going to be grilled fresh fish with potatoes and vegetables so it's just grilled fish grilled fish and here's the fish I am using isn't that a pretty guy right there this is the fish I'm using it has like a yellow top um, it's already pre-cleaned it's more like a, um, a fish they call croaker fish um, it's very I think it's one of the species of the croaker fish fishes the croaker fish um, so here it is it's already gutted cleaned um, I got it yesterday, so I'm going to grill it with some potatoes, sweet potatoes, and underneath will be underneath the fish will be the bed of potatoes and vegetables as well. Okay, guys, so that's with the fish. The main item is the fish, and then I mentioned potatoes. We have sweet potatoes here in water. I'm leaving it to soak in water. Um, so it doesn't oxidize on me and the sweet potato I just um, peeled is this one actually this one has a purple um, exterior so the exterior is purple and the inside is white so this is different from the one that looks somewhat orange yellow um, that one is not as sweet as this so this is very sweet it's, it's called if you go to one of your either Chinese grocery stores or um, Asian, in, qu in quote Asian stores, um, it's called the Japanese potato or Japanese yam, uh, but it's popular in Nigeria. It can either be long and skinny, short, it comes in all shape, all forms, but it's, it's very sweet. It, it is very sweet. Okay, so I am using that potato. And then for the vegetables, that will go under the bed of fi uh, under the fish actually is the trio we have trio bell peppers we have yellow bell pepper we have green bell pepper and then we have red pepper um, you can use red bell pepper I'm using this um, red sweet pepper it is not spicy at all so it's just similar to the taste of bell pepper so that's why I'm using it you can either use that or use real uh, actual red bell pepper so I have the trio bell pepper I also have squash butternut squash I think it's a vegetable um, so it's it, it looks and tastes like potato but uh, it's butternut squash so I'm going to use that as well and for to season our fish I have first of all I have fresh lemon fish and citrus go well together and then I have our array of spices and herbs so let's just get started we have bullion powder I hope you can see guys I have a speck of pepper in there so you have bullion powder so this is just bullion cube um, crushed into powder form so this is bullion powder this is salt next to it then we have um, white pepper I have white pepper I have curry I have fresh rosemary I have fresh sage and I have fresh thyme all will be blended I have onions fresh yellow onions I have let me get this out of the way I have chili hot chili pepper I have dried 
red dried pepper dried chili pepper and I'm using this just for color so I want my baste in so whatever I'm going to baste my fish with I want it to be dark so I'm going to use this chili pepper I have a piece of ginger and garlic Woo! so we <laughs> were able to get through it right so a little overview we have there are two things in here I don't know if the lighting shows it well but we have um, bullion powder we have salt we have white um, pepper we have curry fresh rosemary fresh thyme fresh sage onions hot chili peppers garlic ginger dried chili pepper is optional but I'm using it for color so that's that and then I have tomato sauce I'm using tomato sauce as the liquid to blend all my spices up so that I don't have to use water okay so I'm using tomato sauce and then oil so I think we've covered it Phew. That, was that a lot guys I don't know let me have a glass of wine <laughs> I'm having a glass of wine right after that oh, oh my gosh refreshing guys so I'm going to jump right in so we have our oil what are we going to do with the oil we are going to take some salt put in the oil some of our bullion powder take some of our um, white pepper take some of our curry stir that well stir it extra extra well let that you know get into let it incorporate properly into the oil so now we're going to score our fish let's get this out of the way we're going to score our fish so I'm just putting slits into the fish and once I hit the middle bone I stop tilapia is also a good um, option for a grill to, a, a fish to grill this is the one I got so again I'm just scoring it so I can put in the seasoning creating slits all the way down the fish so see that that was quick 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 um, we're also going to cut our and lemon just slice it up Gone 
And then we're adding our, the rest of our seasoning. Okay. Our fresh rosemary, we're not adding that. We're going to put it inside the fish with some uh, lemon. So let's blend this away. Cover it. Make sure it's tight enough. So I'm going to blend real quick. Okay, guys, we are done blending. We need our bowl. We are done blending. Let's scoop out what we have here. out of the way so we're going to pour some out into here we're going to reserve some for once we put it in the oven we're going to baste the top and then the bottom look at how thick that is guys let's reserve the rest and now let's go ahead and just fill the fish with the delicious goodness here and why I'm splitting the basting process in two so why I'm basting some now and then once I put the fish you know in the oven um, I'll baste it again is because of the platform I'm using I'm using this um, cutting board so, of course, once we flip the fish over, some of the spice will get on the cutting board. So we want to finally have, you know, that final um, process where we've based our fish before, right before it cooks. But now it's just going to start marinating while we get our vegetable ready. We're just covering the fish with this seasoning. Oh, it smells rich. It smells, I can get the smell of all the herbs and spices in there. It's the amount I'm using. Because we want the fish to be flavorful. Raise our hands a little bit, then continue. Getting it into the slits there. Okay. To the skull, the head of the fish, just really getting it inside, making sure. Okay, so now that is done, we are going to now put our rosemary on the inside. It's washed clean, fresh rosemary, just. Put it on the inside there, close it up, get your slice of lemon, one and on the inside, two and three. You can also put it in the slits, but I think inside is good enough. So we have the rest of our sauce use it as the fish is in the oven let's pour it out we have a generous amount left so the fish will really be covered in spices I'm just gonna put our our 
potatoes. Okay, so what we're gonna do with that, we're going to season the potato with all purpose seasoning. Don't need much seasoning on here. Canola oil. And I'm going to add some of our butternut squash. Okay, there's really no science to it. It's just making sure things taste good. using all-purpose um, seasoning it has garlic it has onions it has um, what is that basil so it's just a mix dried spices just a, a tad a pinch guys pinch of salt and we flip this over as well and we're ready to Get this thing layered in the oven. By making it in the form of a bed. Well, mixed peppers, rather. Hope you guys can see that. There we go. Okay. So I have that. Oh, it smells good. It smells good. So I'm just going to line it up well. So that anything that drips from the fish, so all the seasoning that will come out of the fish will go onto the bell peppers. So we have that. And then we're going to put our... Um, potato and squash on both sides, empty sides. side as it cooks so let's just have everything all juiced up even the head we don't want the head to be tasteless every part of the fish will be covered guys that is beautiful gorgeous that's a gorgeous fish Let's keep some. This is what we have left for the other side. And then we're going to, um, while it's sitting, marinating, being happy, we're going to turn on the oven and preheat the oven, which would give take us to, uh, you know, give give or take about 10 minutes or so to be um, ready 
to go. So it's going to be preheated by 10 minutes and then we'll put this in the oven. In the meantime, it's going to sit pretty here and absorb all the delicious goodness. Okay guys, see you soon. Okay guys, and we've preheated the oven to 365 degrees. Ooh, it's really hot. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this bad boy in here. Look at that guys. So dinner pretty much is just on this tray. We have the potatoes, the veggies, and the fish. It's going to cook up. Excuse me. Ooh, I was gonna cook all at once. So in about hmm, let's say in about 15-20 minutes, I'm going to flip the fish over, baste the other side, and let it cook again. So that's it, guys. It's beautiful. Let's give it 15-20 minutes and then we'll come back, flip the fish over. Okay, see you soon. Okay, guys. Ooh, 20 minutes later. Look at that. It's sizzling. So we're going to flip it over, baste, and then put it back in for another 10 minutes. Okay, guys, just like that, it's a wrap. The fish is done, potatoes, veggies, squash, everything has absorbed the delicious goodness from the fish. Look at that, see the bed. Look at that guys, see the steam. It is nice and done. The potato is nice and toasty, look at that. And it smells amazing. That you know, tomato, sauce, pepper mixture with the, the spices. Oh, it takes it to another level. It smells amazing. The potato is nice and soft. Check this out. Look at that. It's nice and soft. And it smells so good. So I'm going to dish it out. And we'll see how it tastes, guys. Look at that. It's beautiful. Have a spoon and knife. The potato is, let's have a taste first of all. Let me look for a small piece. See that? Mm. Mm -mm. Guys, mm -mm. Mm. oh my goodness. The sweet potato is so flavorful and it has absorbed the juice from the fish. That is why I put it in the pan, and I, I, rather than putting it on a grill, um, the grill of the oven, you know, the rack. Rather than putting it on the oven rack for the juice to just drop, to drip out, you know, now we're capturing all the juices in the same pan, and the veggies, potatoes, everything has absorbed the juice, and it's so flavorful. Let's let's taste the squash. Look at the squash, guys. Mmm. 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 I can get the mmm. I can get the heat from the pepper. And imagine we didn't put any pepper on the potato itself. That can show you that the potato and the squash absorbed the pepper from the fish. So everything is so flavorful and yummy. Okay, guys, before I finish it here, let me just dish a piece out. I'm just going to get the tail end. Let's put it in the middle here. And then, we're going to get nice potatoes. on the side potato and squash 
very flavorful, guys. Get some more potatoes. And now we can get the the bell peppers. Oh guys, this is going to be delicious. Let's move this away. See that guys? Look at that. Let's taste it. Where's my knife? First of all, let's taste the the squash. Mmm, 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 mm. it is so delicious, guys! I can't even. Mmm. Wow, and the potato. Nice and sweet. How about the bell peppers? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Guys, it's delicious. Oh my goodness, hearty yet. Let's try the fish. Wow. Oh, wow. The fish is amazing. And the fish is not bony at all. It has just the center, the center bone um, that runs down the spine, and that's it. So let's taste. Mm. Oh, wow. Every bit of the spice, the garlic, the ginger, everything seeps down to the center of the fish. Hmm. Let's have some fish and potatoes together. Look at that. Mm. Guys, this is delicious. With a glass of wine or juice or water. Or detox water, check that out. I'm going to attach it at the end of the video. Whatever you want to pair this with, it will work fine. I mean, it's so so good. Mm. Um, the fish took approximately, I'll say, about 35 to 40 minutes to to cook thoroughly the potato is properly done well done nice and soft and it's toasty on the outside as as though you grilled it yeah we did grill it we did grill it technically in the oven but it has that toasty um, color on the outside but it's nice and soft on the inside mmm so guys, I'm going to sign off, and as always, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful night, and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you have any questions, you know where to put, put the questions. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, toodles.